Outlander fans could see Claire's life turn upside down after a potential poisoning in the upcoming episode. Fans of Starz's romantic drama Outlander are well into season 6 and it looks as though Claire Fraser, played by Katrina Balfe, could suffer another life-threatening situation. After the promo for the upcoming sixth episode was released it hinted at the potential loss of the time-traveling nurse. Ahead of the impending Revolutionary War, the beloved occupants of Fraser's Ridge could soon come face to face with another form of danger. The promo for the upcoming episode, which is titled, The World Turned Upside Down, saw Claire in grave danger as she battled against a life-threatening sickness. The clip showed Roger McKenzie, Richard Rankin, open up about his concern for Mr. and Mrs. McNeil, having not seen him in a while. Claire then responded, you and I can stop by the cabin later and look in on them. In the next scene, Claire, her daughter Brianna, Sophie Skelton, and Malva, Jessica Reynolds, were outside the McNeil home when they noticed a heap of ravens on the roof. Noticing this, Malva remarked, something's dead nearby. Inside, the women were shocked to see Mrs. McNeil's dead body and after realizing something sinister was at play, Claire warned the women not to touch their faces. Later, as Claire and Brianna caught up with Jamie Fraser, Sam Hewan, the nurse fainted into her husband's arms. In the next scene, Jamie was sat beside Claire while she rested in bed and it was made clear her fainting wasn't at random as Brianna stated, she's burning up. With the death of Mrs. McNeil and Claire's warning about touching faces, it's likely a major poisoning was at play. While it will unlikely lead to her death, she could be bedbound and fighting for her life for a long time. As well as finding out whether it was in fact poison which killed Mrs. McNeil, fans will have to stay tuned to find out if it will affect the other women too. Alongside Claire's serious illness, the phrases could face another danger as Wendigo Donna's, Brennan Martin, comeback was hinted at the end of the recent episode. This came after Claire could hear a faint whistle in the wind. However, she disregarded it as the wind even though it was a man whistling a tune from Wilmington Jail. The song was Colonel Bogey March, which was written 150 years in the future, meaning only a time traveler would know the tune. Yeah. Mm -hmm.